Welcome to the ABC Networking YouTube channel. My name is Dobias Veninge and in this video I'm going to show you a pretty cool feature. What we're going to look at is we're going to look at a, at a preview of the next generation UI of the Aruba OS switch. I found out that if you connect to a 2930F switch and you have switch release 1602, to be more specific, the specific release build should be 0008, so 1602 0008. If you have that release running, then you can access the next generation UI of the Aruba OS switch. So, to be precise, currently only supported on the 2930F 1602 0008. So, what will this, this, this new UI bring you? It has a much richer, better look, it gives you better performance, you have some more advanced user-friendly views, um, in particular compared to the legacy web UI, you also have gauges now implemented. At the moment there is a total of six gauges that present, for example, information like CPU utilization, memory utilization, packet buffers, etc. With the system monitor, you can set up a specific view that you need to have for that particular switch in your particular environment. So, we will show you how to do that. So, let's get a look. Let's first connect to the switch. And we connect to the switch, and as you can see, we land to the legacy um, to the legacy UI that is currently. And this UI already gives you a lot of information, like switch status, unit information, device view, some details on ports, etc. But we want to show you the next generation advanced UI, so the next gen UI. So let me log in here. Uh, the reason I log in because I want to show you something in the next gen. Okay, so it gives me a message that I was previously successful login as manager, so let me continue here. As you can see, I'm logging in as user ABC and admin. So, now what we want is, as you can see, we are running 1602.0012. So this is higher than the 0008 release, and we have a 2930F. So as you follow my mouse, and you see in the top right corner, you can see access next gen GUI. If we click this, you will see that we're getting loaded into a new UI. And this UI, you can immediately see the six cartridge we already talked about. CPU, memory, transmit drops, packet buffers, message offers, Eric's errors. These refresh by default every five seconds. I will show you why this is important to know, and I will also show you where you can change this. It also gives you completely, immediately an overview of the particular system we are, device we are talking to, product, IP address, base MAC, uptime, the primary switch software, secondary switch software, the ROM version, the serial number. So it gives you a good overview of the system. Then you can see here specific information about how many percent of the storage is being used. And it also gives you information how the vans are operating. And in my case, all vans are operating normally. In this case, I only have one port enabled, so the top port by Eric's utilization is port 24, but it's also the only port I have enabled on the switch. But for this demo, it's more to give you a look and feel what and how to access this next generation UI. You can see the latest alerts here and some uh, alert breakdown in the past 24 hours based on severity level, or you can also do that based on category level. Uh, what do we have more here? I already said that I want to show you why I logged in. So as you can click here, you can click on user details. You can see that I'm logged in with username ABC admin, and I have the manager role. I can log out here, and this is also important to know. I can uh, go back to the launch to the legacy GUI. So this is another important thing to figure out. Well, how can you go back to the to the legacy GUI? I can click here to see all the notifications. I only have one notification, first time installation, and I get back to the settings here. But if we click the settings now, you can see where we can set the gauge refresh rate. So this is for the middle part of this um, of this dashboard overview is where you can set the refresh rates of all these these gauges. At the moment, I just leave it a default on uh, on uh, five seconds. Okay. So how can we go back to the alerts? You can go to the alerts here. And in the alert page, you can figure out what the alerts are. You can click on display to see what kind of information per alert you want to see. Uh, and you can also click on filters so that you can filter based on severity, based on category, 
and you can even base on acknowledge so this way you can very easily filter out to your alerts to get a good overview what is in there if you go back to overview and let's say for example I'm looking at this graph and I want to see more information I want to see the history of this gauge I can click uh, let me click here on the history then I will get to this graph and you can see that the graph will constantly be updated every five seconds here and every five seconds it will be updated because that's the refresh rate we set it on and if we want to see some more information we can click on a particular time frame here so let me click here and we can see the information in that particular time frame what the value of the CPU was so this way we can get some more information here underneath you can see some statistics in this case of the CPU what is the average minimum and maximum um, if we want to have a little bit of a longer view of a specific time we can pass we can pause the graph and then uh, we can play it on later if we want to we can also set some settings so if you want to change the the, uh, the show alerts informational warning critical and even set the max min average so we can and we can select that and save it to get that information into the CPU okay so let me go back to the overview what you also can do if you go here to settings and we want to see all settings we can select the setting of the system monitor and we can change the default metric that we want to see if we cl clicked or select the system monitor in this case it's a CPU but you can set it to every one of the six cartridge so if we go back and we go to system we click monitor you can see it is now CPU so if we had changed that that setting to memory when we select this particular monitor section we will get the memory so this way you can customize what your preferred uh, system monitor view will be okay if we go to port when we do management we get an overview of the switch first in graphical overview uh, of the numbering of all the ports we have and we can immediately see by a green tick box if that port is up a set port 24 is the one I'm using you can see that it's up if it is disabled or if it is black it is a down port and underneath here you can see an overview and I can go over all the different ports and even edit them so if I wanna I can put some display again if I uh, for example wanna have a simplified overview I can turn off specific uh, views and then I don't get that to see in order to uh, to get a known overview um, I can also filter these views so let me say I wanna filter by status and I wanna uh, filter on up then I only get the ports to see that is currently up and that's port 24 that we can also see here if I select this port and I can do edit ports I can make some settings for example I can change port 24 let me change uh, ABC networking as the custom port name enabled yes so I just leave the rest of this and I want to save this and you can see I changed the port to ABC networking or port 24 so this way I can quickly configure or an operator can configure quickly uh, what time of setting want to make there is also a diagnostic section if you do config report you can see that it gives you the running config of the switch and what's really nice is that you can see you can filter these things up and down so that you can immediately see what interface or you get a, a more better view of a specific entry in the config so this way you get a good overview and I think I hope you like this video please leave some comments please like the video subscribe to the channel so that we can keep on going making additional videos for you um, this is the next generation so not every functionality is in there uh, it's, it's in building phase as you see uh, so the spanning tree, all the multicast functionality is not in there, but at least it gives you a good overview where the next generation UI goes to. If you want to return back, go to the user details, launch the legacy UI, and you're back to your used to and the world you probably have now in your infrastructure. Thank you very much. I hope to see you next time.